Hi, I'm Brennan Galley, and I'm the product specialist for Akai in Canada. Recently, I got the MPCX, and I want to show you a bunch of new features from the firmware update. All of these video series, they're designed to act as a complement to me meeting people in stores. If you found it through YouTube, thank you for checking it out, and let me know what you think of the videos. And if I met you in store, you probably have my contact info. If you have any more questions, you're welcome to reach out and let me know what's up. So with the MPC-X, it works really similar to the MPC-Live. Um, it works really similar to the MPC-Touch as well. If you want to get like really basic started, check out my video series on both of those. And I'll sort of get you up to speed as to where we are. This video is going to start a little bit more advanced and showing some more in-depth features. So I have uh, here some guitar parts. There's some low end rumble in there, so I want to quickly throw a quick filter onto there. I'm going to go menu, program edit, and I'm going to take a look at my filter envelope. I'm going to do a high pass filter, so it's going to cut off all the low and let the highs out. And instead of doing it on A01, I'm going to go and select all pads. So now the entire pad section will be set up. Let's go back to my menu, program edit. And I'm going to say high pass, and I'll find a good spot for that cutoff to be. Great, and I think that's going to match with the drums. So that's how I quickly go in and do a full filter. That's something I haven't included in previous videos, but it has been there for the entire setup. So now I want to take one of these sounds. I'm going to go to this track, the Ian vocal part, and I want to have it so that it's going to match the BPM of my song. I want to warp the audio. This is a new feature in the new, newest firmware update. And so I'm going to push the Old pad. for decades, gold reprobates, once you cross those hopeless Now if I had the rhythm, deep, deep it's going to match that right now. Lies, but if I increase that, that BPM, the skies, hold for decades, Ian's gold voice will be at the same speed. Once you cross those hopeless the drum speed up. Deep, deep dives, stirred with lies, burning steel so that does, streaks the skies. So it make a lot of sense together. So what I want to do is I want to have Ian's voice match the speed a drum sequence. So let's go back to 81 BPM. And I'm going to go and do menu, program edit, and I'm going to touch the sample tab. Hold for decades, gold reprobates, once you. So that's the sample we're working with. I know that I recorded it at 81 BPM, so 8100. Zero, zero. Hold for decades, gold reprobates. And now I'm going to select one... the warp switch here. So now if I'm on my main screen and I press that pad. Hold for decades, gold reprobates, once you cross those hopeless gates, the deep deep dive stern replies, burning steel that streaks the skies. So that means that if I have my beat going, hold for decades, and increase gold the reprobates, speed. once you cross those hopeless gates, deep deep dive stern replies, burning steel that streaks the skies. So now everything will match. It means that I could take many different samples, quickly throw it onto the pads, and have the warp feature take over and make everything the same BPM. We were able to do this in the previous firmware with the MPC, but we had to use it in either clip mode or in audio mode. So now that functionality is throughout. It will show up anywhere that you're, you're pressing a pad. 